the Mountain West Commissioner, Craig Thompson, mentioned that the Mountain West has a lot of different options as far as realignment goes. And I found this interesting, right? He said, I'm going to pull this up on the screen so that everybody can see. All right. So will the Mountain West Conference expand? This is over at uh, DeseretNews.com or Deseret.com. And it's from the Mountain West Conference uh, Media Days. And in this, now the Idaho Statesman's Ron Counts is who actually reported this, but Craig Thompson said that several schools, 6 to 12, have been in contact with the conference and have expressed interest in joining an expanded Mountain West. He noted that the Mountain West does not have to do anything at the moment, but is aware of the options available to it in the event that further realignment happens. Now, there are three options here that he laid out. Totally understand them. If they lose numbers, then they would just stay at the number that they end up at. That'd be number one. Number two would be to actually add members. And then number three is to merge with another conference. Now, apparently a decade ago, uh, it says, yeah, go back about a decade. We talked about merging with Conference USA. We had several talks at the board level, had a consultant of media partners, and gave it a good look way back when. I am of the belief that, and I've said this before, all of these G5 conferences should be packaging up their rights together anyway and go sell it to multiple parties because I believe that you can create better games, you can create uh, better value for your conference by doing something along these lines, by packaging all these rights together. Now, you can sell like your main rights as a package, and then your Tier 2 and Tier 3 rights differently, however you want to do it, right? There are different ways that you can go about this. But I've always been of the belief that the G5 should basically just all band together. But nobody wants to do that. Everybody believes that they are worth more than what they're actually worth, etc. It's just a, it's a whole thing. But the CUSA Mountain West merger, interesting to look back at it now considering what the Conference USA has turned into. The Mountain West is in a good position. They are the other late-night game. I mean, for as, as long as we've been watching football on Saturdays, you've only got two conference options as far as your late-night TV windows. Mountain West and the Pac-12. Well, the Pac-12 right now just had two teams leave. I'm okay with the Mountain West. You know, I, I like watching Nevada and Colorado State and Fresno and San Diego State, etc., right, at Boise. I, that, that's a good window to have because there are still a lot of people that are watching. So I'm really curious, uh, does the Mountain West end up eating some of these Pac-12 teams, Washington State, Oregon State, etc.? I'm, I'm interested. I'm definitely interested. So I want to see what ends up happening with this uh, because I think, I think he understands if the Pac-12 gets to a certain point, if Oregon and Washington leave, if whatever happens, the Pac-12 is probably going to take some Mountain West teams. But it depends on whether or not the Pac-12 just completely disbands. And in that case, the Mountain West would absolutely take teams like Stanford, Cal, Washington State, Oregon State, whoever, right? They they would absolutely take those teams. So, I'm interested. It, it, Craig Thompson seems, and he's always seemed like this, he is just open to everything. He is willing to have discussions. Like, I, I like the guy. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.